Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the class of African literature. I hope you are all are doing well. Uh, previously, we discussed about uh, the writing style of uh, Chinua Ajibe and uh, his influence on other uh, Nigerian uh, writers and uh, uh, what uh, his writing style like uh, the, there is a term coined or uh, uh, associated uh, to his writing style that is the term the achibaism and uh, uh, how uh, his characterization and uh, the style for novels and what he is used or uh, uh, which techniques is used in his uh, novels in order to uh, uh, make his work uh, significant or in order to make his work interesting for the readers or to engage the readers in trust like the use of Eng lang English language blended uh, or uh, mixed with the African idioms or the native language uh, then there was a, a blend of imagery and the use of literary figures. Uh, there was the characterization like the uh, verbal artistry, the art of oratory, uh, then uh, how he uh, made by using certain techniques, how he made his uh, ordinary or rural, rural characters into something significant or competent characters. So, in this lecture, uh, uh, we are going, I am going to uh, talk about his uh, essay. The Home and Exile by, Chin, uh, by Chino Echibe. It is not uh, uh, like uh, the novel, but it is essay. So, uh, this work is the last day in this course and uh, after this, uh, after completing lectures uh, on this uh, work, uh, that will be the end of our course outline. So, in order to move uh, further into the uh, home and exile, there are the things that I want to, oh, I want you all to know that is about Achibe's writings. Like uh, Achibe establishes a, a human context for understanding modern Nigerian history. So, his works, uh, they describes the uh, uh, context uh, like the things fall apart. It describes this first contact between European and uh, Evo cultures uh, at the beginning of the 20th century and bends over backwards to demonstrate good and bad on both sides. So, the subsequent institutionalization of uh, European religion, religious and uh, political structures uh, uh, that is examined in his work, uh, The Era of God, uh, The Uneasy Years, uh, the immediately uh, preceding independence are explored uh, in no longer at ease and uh, the excitement and uh, uh, disappointment of Nigeria's first republic are subjects of a man of the people. So, the suffering produced by the Nigerian war, civil war is the theme of the authoritarianism that has, uh, uh, sorry, is the theme of the girls at war and the other stories and behavior. So, the soul brother and the other poems and the corrupt authoritarianism that has characterized Nigeria as a second republic is the focus of the behavior. So, uh, uh, like uh, the soul and the brother and the other poems and Aunt Hills of Swana, uh, the, mm, that title of his commentary, The Trouble with Nigeria, identifies a concern central to his entire canon. So, the reason that I am first uh, talking about his writing because um, uh, in, uh, if you uh, get to know, uh, like, uh, it is important for everyone to get to know uh, about his writing before moving on to home and exile because that is an essay that is totally based on his previous writings as well. So, uh, as a corrective of uh, European literature, uh, stereotypical portraits of uh, Africans as uh, unwearingly backwards. So, Achibe demonstrates the value and viability of traditional Igbo culture describes Nigerian as complex human beings uh, with a strong sense of community and tolerance and establishes the independence of African literature. He identifies his prior first priority to inform the, uh, the world that African people they did not hear of uh, culture for the first time from Europeans, that their societies were not mindless, that they had poetry and uh, above all they had dignity. So, Achibe does not realize the pre-colonial past for he knows that 
it couldn't have survived unaltered in a modern world. Instead, he shows built-in systems for uh, communities and individuals and explores uh, continuities uh, with the past that can coexist with the modern society. Uh, so, Achebe's conflicted protagonist, the tone between, uh, for example, their convo, the tone between the self-realization and social re responsibility demonstrates the difficulty of attaining uh, such a balance. So, the destructive pull of uh, individual pride, it, it thoughts each character's movement toward communal acceptance. Uh, in Things Fall Apart, a conco overcomes personal humi humiliation to win community respect, but uh, his inflexible refusal to um, accommodate uh, himself to the increasing influence of colonial government and uh, Christianity, uh, it uh, alienates him from his clan and uh, derives him to violence that uh, necessitates uh, personal sacrifice. So, like uh, the th things uh, happen uh, in same things that happen in the, the era of God, no longer at ease, uh, man of the people and uh, on hills of Soana. So, uh, uh, like uh, he shows that traditional values cannot exist in altered but viable from forms in the present. In his fiction, Achebe, in his fiction, Achebe opposes interpersonal, cult, uh, political, cultural, and uh, linguistic forms of authoritarianism. He associates uh, inflexible refusal to recognize the validity of multiple viewpoints, the central flaw, flaw of his uh, protagonist with the cultural arrogance of uh, political powers and uh, the cynical greed of Nigerian officials. So, stylistically, uh, Achebe refutes uh, this myopic authoritarianism through multiple perspectives and irony. So, uh, he mixes, like he uh, presents, uh, like he indicate his belief in the uh, f fluidity of perception, the duality of existence and uh, the adaptability of the Igbo culture. And he represents uh, 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 like uh, this fluidity in his uh, fiction by mixing literary English, pigeon English and a colloquial English that uh, approximate the rhythms of the Igbo speech. He also mixes Igbo proverbs, uh, songs and rituals with allusions to uh, European literatures and uses irony and unreliable narrators to question authoritarian voices. So, to create an open known authoritarian view, uh, he balances uh, one novel against another. So, thus the naively uh, like uh, uh, the um, the Aconco in uh, things fall apart. It does represent like uh, the uh, uh, tragic comedy or the no longer e uh, at ease is also a tragic comedy and uh, how he dip, uh, in telling the uh, one another the uh, obi Aconco uh, in no longer at ease is a tragic comedy is the version of the grandfather a conco in the things fall apart. So, that is how he uh, uh, balances one novel with the other. Achebe's decision to write in English instead of his uh, native Igbo broadened um, uh, his work to include a worldwide audience, but uh, it brought uh, criticism that he was assisting in the destruction of Igbo culture and uh, he in return blamed the missionaries. Uh, that uh, missionaries they mangled uh, translations of the Bible for destroying Igbo language. But he has since moved uh, toward greater use of uh, native languages by editing the uh, Igbo poetry anthology Akavita and the bil uh, bilingual journal like uh, One Igbo. So, he has been an active uh, uh, writer, visible public figure in uh, Nigeria since 1950s. And um, his, not surprisingly, his uh, writings parallel his uh, personal experiences. His uh, synthetic uh, portrayals of uh, traditional, like early portrayals of uh, traditional Igbo culture, uh, were in part justice toward uh, uh, expiating his own guilt 
over the rare educational privileges that he enjoyed. So his uh, skillful satire of the abuse of power and language in books such as A Man of the um, uh, People, he mocks his own involvement uh, in the development of Nigeria's mass media. So after the Nigerian Civil War, in which Achibe and uh, uh, many other um, Igbo writers, they took an active part. His uh, writings became more uh, directly utilitarian and political. After teaching in the United States, uh, uh, made him realize that the most widely taught book concerning Africa was Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. Uh, so, Achibe became more sympathetic to African authors who renounced the use of uh, colonial languages and uh, more aware uh, of the extent to which Americans and Europeans misunderstand and ignore Africans' problems. So, in order to address these, he started writing uh, and uh, uh, the home and exile, it uh, totally based on such thing, on such things. So, my home and exile uh, came out as a series of uh, three lectures. Achibe surveys his life experiences as he defended Nigerian Nigerians, countering imperialist assaults on that home uh, with Nigerian perspective, finding balance even in exile. So, the title Home and Exile, it uh, uh, summarizes the essence of this work, like Achibe's discovery of Igbo values and ways as his true home despite years abroad as an exile uh, paralleling uh, the Igbo experiences with the oppressive European literature undermining uh, their sense of worth defining them as primitive savages and justifying European ways as superior. For example, Heart of Darkness. Uh, uh, Heart of Darkness depicts Africa as a backward continent incapable of uh, producing serious thought or remarkable art. So, uh, th this uh, uh, such works, it urged him to write and uh, the home and exile, uh, these are uh, uh, the book uh, consists of uh, three lectures that delivered over a three day period now from December 9 to 11 and December 11 and uh, in 1998 at Harvard University and it was published in 2000. So, uh, the names of uh, the uh, lectures are uh, first one as these are the three lectures. So, first one is the my home under imperial fire, then comes uh, the empire fights back then comes the today the balance of stories. So, um, uh, digging into further, the theme of form and exile, exile is also very important in African literature. So, if we you recall the biography of Achibe and the Wal Soenka, you know that uh, they put them, themselves into exile, voluntary exile, especially Soenka, he uh, went into volu voluntary exile for two times and uh, that was uh, important for them. So, the, the importance of home and uh, the exile that is quite uh, apparent in the, uh, in the African works uh, like home is the uh, Nigeria and uh, the exile uh, when they go out of Nigeria. So, uh, these uh, uh, the title itself uh, uh, hold uh, quite, a sig quite a lot of significance and uh, why he is using the title of home then and exile for his essays. So, the first essay, My Home Under Imperial Fire. My, the title shows it that uh, it uh, must be during the uh, period when the uh, uh, the Europeans or the colonizer were there uh, um, uh, colonizing or making colonies. So, uh, the title shows that period, the, my home under imperial fire. In this first essay, uh, Chibel looks back 
uh, at his own uh, experiences as a student in Br uh, British school in Nigeria. So, Achibe, uh, as many readers know, that Achibe is a member of Igbo people or nation, uh, as he prefers to say. So, Achibe shares uh, fond memories of uh, how he came to love his father's home village and how he didn't fully understand the richness of his own people until he saw that uh, richness called into question by known African critics. So, after a lifetime of reading and thinking, Achibe unhesitatingly uh, confesses that he quite uh, enjoyed as a student the adventure of uh, adventure stories of uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, uh, Ryder Haggard, and the others. Uh, even story stories that were set in the most remote and savage parts of uh, Africa uh, seem to the young Achibe as mere inter entertainment with no political and cultural implications. So, a, a telling moment came in the early 1950s when Achibe was a student and uh, at uh, University College in uh, uh, Ibadan. He was taught by English professors who were all uh, Europeans from various British and European universities with one or two exceptions the authors they taught us uh, yeah, they taught uh, would have been the same ones that would uh, teach at home. So, no literature by Africans was uh, included in the curriculum, uh, but uh, uh, when uh, at in 1950s when he was uh, uh, studying there he said that there was no literature by Africans that was included in the curriculum but one uh, instructor he assigned Mr. Johnson uh, a highly regarded novel about race relations in Nigeria by Irish writer uh, Joyce Carey. So, to the professor's surprise Achibe and his classmates they protested that Carey's representation of Nigeria with its uh, jealous uh, savages uh, living like mice or rats in a palace floor uh, did not resemble the homeland they knew. So, in Home and Exile, uh, Achibe uses Mr. Johnson as uh, a starting point to describe uh, uh, a large body of uh, British literature over a period of more than 400 years created a mythology of Africa as a godless dark continent. So, uh, for this history he draws on the work of uh, um, like um, uh, Dorothy Hammer and Alta Zablo who analyzed over 500 books of this type for their 1970 book The Africa That Never Was. So, Achibe states the purpose of uh, uh, the derogatory depiction of Africa uh, was to help Europeans justify to themselves the slave trade and their colonial occupation of Africa. So, while he cannot go so far as to accuse Kerry or for his racist representation of Nigeria, Achibe does understand that Kerry was the product of an education and a culture that gave him a particular view of Africa. So, Achibe writes, in theory, a good writer might outgrow these influences, but Carey did not. So, uh, the, uh, in the first essay, he rejects the word tribe as a uh, racist uh, misnomer. So, asserting that Ibu are neither primitive nor bound by blood ties uh, with their language complex, uh, including major and minor dialects and their socio political identity, the purposefully defined by disdain for the concept of a single ruler. So, he, def he defines the term nation more appropriate for a loose uh, federation of people with strong individual identities, loyalty to independent towns or uh, mini states a love of competition and controversy and a marketing network for uh, disseminating goods and news. He emphasizes the Igbo love of song, dance, uh, proverbs and storytelling uh, and so deep seated uh, tolerance of difference that they refuse to impose their religious beliefs even on outsiders seeking to join them. So, um, 
that was the reason he shared his experience of uh, uh, like um, experience uh, when the students rejected an absurd author like the um, Joyce Carey. So, his uh, early encounter with Carey was most important for his own work uh, in that it uh, helped him see literature in a new way. So, uh, what his book uh, Mr. Johnson did uh, for Achibe though was to call into question his childhood assumption of the uh, innocence of stories. So, it began to dawn on him that uh, although fiction was undoubtedly fictitious, it could also be true or false. So, uh, uh, this rebellion uh, led the Achibe, young Achibe to scrutinize the connection between the slave, slave trade and literature written to justify it and to recognize the uh, appropriation of his homeland by imperialistic propaganda. So, the first my home under imperial fire, fire this essay it revolves around this. The, and uh, how it uh, uh, urged him and what was the reason, what were the incidents that were behind for urging him to write in the favor of the Africa or to write not in the favor of Africa, but to uncover the grave realities that were behind the colonization. So, next comes uh, uh, the empire fights back. Empire fights back, uh, the title itself denotes that uh, means uh, if there is uh, an action, there is always a reaction. So, Empire fights back means uh, now it, it is the turn to Africa to fight back or to represent themselves uh, uh, in the true picture. So, uh, that is why he titled uh, his second essay as the Empire fights back uh, in which he looks more closely at uh, African literature written by the outsiders uh, and examines the bourgeoisie of an authentic African literature in 1950s. So, uh, and he also examines the reactions of the people towards such books. Uh, in this essay, it explores his outrage at uh, racist depiction of uh, his people and home. So, uh, because of the uh, and his decision, because of this such dis, uh, uh, depiction and this decision to fight back in novels, uh, it uh, um, providing Nigerian perspective and his willingness to face considerable trouble to tell worthy stories. So, because of that depiction that because of the misrepresentation uh, or uh, racist depiction, he decided to write back, he decided to fight through novels, through writings and that is the reason he used uh, mixed languages. So, that the people uh, who are non-African, non-African people can easily understand his uh, story and uh, uh, can easily understand the purpose behind the writings, be behind his writings. So, the empire fights back, it does talks about, uh, it does talk about like uh, he contrasts the works of uh, uh, Joseph Conrad and uh, Huxley with the uh, uh, paddlers call of our authentic African literary voices in West Africa. So, and he deplores the mindset that led British educated Africans to mock uh, Amos Totola, uh, the um, African writer quite famous, uh, wrote uh, the palm wine drinker and uh, his uh, dead palm wine tapester in the dead town. So, uh, and in this work, the Amos, uh, he uh, depicts the uh, African perspective. So, for Achibe, the launching of uh, uh, Hanma's African writers, uh, writer series marked the turning point in African literature, uh, like uh, rejecting the imperialist voices uh, in favor of true Africans. 
so in this uh, uh, like uh, in this uh, work he uh, uh, he talks about uh, he uh, points out uh, the works that uh, represent the racist or racism racism uh, and uh, who depict uh, uh, the and the writers who depict uh, european uh, sorry africans as savages or the primitive nation and uh, uh, to encounter uh, uh, to encounter those writings he uh, represents some of the writings uh, uh, by the african writers and uh, he also um, decides to write on his own in order to give a new nigerian perspective in order to provide a new nigerian perspective to the people so that they may change their uh, uh, point of view so that they may change their view towards nigeria towards africa and Afri african nations so uh, that is uh, why he uh, uh, started writing and uh, it shows that uh, in, uh, in africans they rejected imperialist voices uh, so this work the this essay the empire fights back he ends with the uh, uh, jomo kenyatta's parable of uh, british imperial practices the gentleman of the jungle there is a contradiction the gentleman of gentleman of the jungle if a person is from a jungle how can be a gentleman so uh, the reason for writing this and the reason uh, for achibe to quoting this work because he uh, because this work it demonstrates uh, african writers uh, how they are fighting back and uh, it shows that uh, there was a resistance uh, during the uh, uh, you know uh, the imperialism or during the colonization there was a there was a resistance and what was the actual purpose and what were the uh, actual motives behind the colonization and um, there also the justification that uh, the african they are not uh, they they were not primitive they were not uh, uh, cultureless or godless people rather they had their religious and uh, their cultural values and uh, they had the law and order through which uh, they were uh, by using those uh, th sorry uh, those laws and order and the cultural values they were set by their ancestors and they were following those things so one cannot say that it was a cultureless society or it was a godless society so rather uh, they were they had their beliefs uh, before the uh, the christianity intervened or before the colonizers intervened and tried to alter their beliefs and uh, try to demolish their uh, their uh, values so the next essay the last one or uh, the third lecture of uh, the uh, HE base uh, in, uh, recorded in the book that is the today the balance of stories. First you would see that in the first he shows uh, how people were struggling during uh, colonization like my home under imperial fire. Then he shows if uh, there was a fire then the people were trying to put it out my uh, empire fires back by writing empire fires back so uh, first he shows both perspectives uh, and he showed both perspectives uh, like uh, the uh, when there was a colonization then uh, when there was a re reaction or re resistance and uh, in the final essay he depicts the uh, you know, he moves towards examining the uh, contemporary situation or uh, uh, like uh, this uh, he praises in this uh, essay, he praises and criticizes the uh, foreign writers uh, like on depicting African culture without knowing it. So, uh, in the final essay, he praises Salman Rushdie's depiction of post-colonial literature as the 
empire fights back he praises that and uh, uh, then uh, there is wb uh, du bois uh, uh, hope for racial parity and uh, then there is uh, amma atta those uh, sympathetic tales of the afflicted poor he uh, praises those writers in uh, the depiction uh, of a post colonial literature and uh, but he criticizes but this third essay it criticizes the uh, vs napoleons like um, the reason for the criticism because uh, how the vs napole presented the imperialism or the colonized colonizers uh it because um it criticizes vs napole because um uh, vs napole's uh, imperialist rejection of uh, impoverished peoples and uh, rushdie's assertion that literature can exist apart from a writer's national roots so uh, achibe uh says that african liter literature has found its voice since 1950s and that such literature finds its worth not in a universal uh, uh, civilization but in a writer's home so the african writers uh, long exiled from their heritage by literature justifying imperialist conquest have found their literary home in africa where they lived there whether they lived there or in exile from it so that is why he uh, 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 he praised and uh, criticized some writers because the people most of the writers they were not accepting it uh, that if you are not in living in the africa then you cannot write about the africa uh, africa so uh, uh, after the such long uh, uh, you know debates or uh, uh, process it was accepted that whether the writer they live in, in their home or in the exile they have to they have the right to represent their uh, heritage their cultural heritage the book of the uh, uh, so the balance of stories uh, it also uh, question um, there is a question of home and exile travel and return that is most fully ex uh, explored in this book and it is um, fairly a mixed bag so there are memories of his youth and uh, there are various anecdotes in uh, in uh, you know uh, interspersed uh, with quite uh, transient analysis of literature from and about africa so that like uh, he uh, explored um, many uh, works in the in this uh, you know in this last book in this last essay as i have already mentioned about uh, and uh, about the rushdie's writings and uh, boyce and uh, amartya's and uh, vs napole's writing the uh, two i'm uh, sorry for the delay to conclude um we can say that uh, the uh, it is uh, very superficial introduction home and exile is useful as a very superficial introduction uh, to the african literary scene starting in 1950s it is also word file for uh, additional autobiographical tidbits uh, achibe offers nevertheless the gifted uh, writer chibe he, uh, he presents a, a very unfocused and simple uh, little book that reads much like the original lectures it is based on must have so it might entertain and impassion a uh, crowd but most readers will probably regret that he doesn't go or uh, in far greater depth in his discussions so uh, the a tantalizing glimpse often well written and well presented it leads one 
wishing for more much more so that is uh, uh, that is uh, said about the home and exile so uh, the this is basically the summary of the work home and exile of the book home and exile and um, uh, in the book uh, I, uh, uh, this book is based on three essays and those three essays are basically based on his uh, uh, three lectures that uh, he delivered at Ho Howard, and uh, in the, and that was the three-day period during uh, and uh, and it were um, detailed. So, but in the book there were many things that were not in detail. That is uh, why a reader may uh, you know regret it that uh, there should be more detail. So. Uh, there is not much uh, data provided on the internet about this and uh, uh, there are three these are the three references from where I retrieve this data but there are other references and I was just I am just unable to uh, you know retrieve those uh, references and uh, that is why I did not put those here. So, you can uh, you can uh, visit these references or these sites or you can search on their own for more data. So, but nothing much is available about uh, uh, home and exile like uh, uh, as uh, we have previously discussed about the works like the Ben Okri, the Famish Road, then the Walsh and the Lion and Jewel or things fall apart. Uh, there are so much available on those works, but uh, there isn't much available on about this work. So, uh, and uh, apart that, uh, it is uh, the this is this book is based on assays, so there won't be any theme or something like that. So that is all for now. Thank you for your patience. Stay blessed.